I'm Laurie March, Project Manager and Home Improvement Pro, and I'm on the road with Renewal by Anderson all across the country, meeting special folks and seeing their cool projects that open a window into the past and the future. I'm here in Michigan at White Cottage Farmhouse, home of Liz Marie and Jose Galvin, and baby Copeland, and a couple of dogs, and a bunch of sheep. You guys have got to see this place. I always describe our style as cozy cottage farmhouse mm -hmm. because we do live in a farmhouse, but it has that cozy cottage vibe. This is actually a massive cottage in my opinion, right? This is a big, beautiful cottage home. Exactly how many critters are on this property? We have eight sheep, three dogs, a bunch of barn cats and bees. And one tiny person. And yeah. One little tiny man. Human. He <laughs> heard sheep and me and baby. <laughs> How did you get into decorating and design? So I have loved decorating and design since I was little. My grandma developed that passion in me. I was the one that, instead of watching cartoons, I was watching design shows. You recently put out your own book. That has to be the most exciting feeling. It is, it's, it's still very weird to add author to the title. One of the things in my book that I hit on a lot was making your house cozy in the in-between. That is something that I hit on a lot. What's your number one tip for how to really make it feel cozy when you're in the middle? Yeah, so we lived on subfloor for a long time and just simply laying a rug down and using that space and making it usable for your family in the in-between is cozy. And cozy to me is my five senses being at peace at once and we have definitely tried to implement that in every room of our house. When it was time to replace the windows, what was the final straw? Like, how did you know it was just time? A lot of our windows were up to code. They were leaking, yeah. so that was it. I remember reading that you actually reached out to your dad about a lot of stuff. Definitely. So your dad is in the trades or is a yeah. contractor? Yeah, he is in the trades and he is my go-to for everything. I always ask his opinion first. He's really passionate about windows and so when I told him that we were going with Renewal by Anderson, he was really excited, which that stamp of approval was awesome. I do listen a lot and he has helped us a lot with this house. So new windows went in. Did it feel any different? It felt completely different, night and day difference with the new windows. Before they were very foggy, they were drafty. And the one thing that I wasn't expecting is how quiet our house is now. Um, it's soundproof, which is awesome. So is it odd to you at all that there are hundreds of thousands of people that kind of follow your life story and like kind of know every inch of your home? Definitely, I think our community is really strong in cheering for us, but also really wanting to see the realness behind it. Um, so showing the holes in the floor when we had holes and showing the mess behind the scenes and they might think it's perfect here, yeah. but it's a lot of work. Number one for me is that everything's washable. So we do love white, we do love neutrals, but everything is slip covered. Everything you can throw in the wash. Last night we had friends over here and they were like, oh, can we eat on the white sofas and things like that? And just really being comfortable with things getting lived on. And also not apologizing for your home when people come over. Ooh, that's good. Not apologizing for the mess because yeah. that's normal and that makes people feel welcome. I look I look at this property and, and we plan on this being our forever home. Um, I definitely see many, many memories here. Our house has a really big history and we're honored to continue on with that as well. So this is, this is a dream come true to always have a project going on and to be able to make this house our home.